Hi, it's Maggie the Irish Gypsy here to bring you your November 2023 mid-month general reading. We're looking at the last half of November and this reading is for our lovely lions, the fire sign of Leo. Welcome everyone. I hope you're doing well. Thanks for taking the time to be here. Those of you who are celebrating Thanksgiving later this month, happy Thanksgiving to you. Hope you have a wonderful holiday. Please hit the like, share, and subscribe button, especially that like button. It really is important. Thanks to those of you who do, who watch, who comment, those of you who reach out for personal readings and refer and recommend me to others. Always my gratitude and many blessings to you. So, Leo, if your sun, moon, rising, Venus sign is in Leo, if you're cross-watching for a Leo, this video is for you. Uh, it may resonate a little differently for everyone. It's a general reading. If you know any or all of your other signs, watch them for additional insight. And if you find that something really does resonate with you and you'd like to take a deeper look at something or you like the reading style, if you are interested in a personal reading for yourself or as a gift for someone else, uh, personal readings do make lovely gifts and easy gifts to give and we are headed into the holiday season so something to keep in mind but if you're interested in any of that please email me at maggie the number one mcguire at gmail.com you can see that contact info by clicking the title or the description of this video i would love to hear from you and i can usually get back to you the same day uh, I, with all the information I do offer a pretty wide variety of reading choices in all areas of life, different types, lengths, styles, budgets, or something for everyone in there. And I do readings full time, it's all that I do. So I'm pretty diligent um, with scheduling personal readings in a timely fashion if that's important to you. So email me if you'd like. Okay, Leo, I'm using the Tarot of Dreams, clarifying with the Radiant Rider Waits. Let's take a look at the last half of November for you. Wow. Wheel of Fortune, divine timing and orchestration also represents some kind of change, something fortuitous uh, coming in for you. Divine timing and orchestration, which is a pretty strong implication whether you take the new path or accept the change or not. Um, it's, it's divine timing and orchestration. So new paths that are attached to this represent, you know, a path that spirit wants you to move down. Free will, free agency, but yeah. Uh, Four of Swords, interesting, taking a step back to rest, recuperate, reflect. Consider, gain new perspective, different perspective. For some of you, this might be actually having some kind of minor illness or something which makes you take time off uh, so that you can get rest and recuperate. It might be that for some of you. We'll clarify. Next, we have the Three of Cups, social energy, parties. So, pr probably not <laughs> too much of that. Uh, it, it's our, our party card. It, it speaks of the time you spend with the people you really enjoy spending time with, your tribe, your circles, positive social connections in your community. And again, I mean, you know, we're this is the, the the season of time where we have, you know, Thanksgiving, and you know, there's holiday energy. So it might be that. You know, for some of you, maybe feeling a bit worn out by that. Three of Cups with the Emperor. The Emperor might be an Aries individual. It typically represents an individual that's older, that has a lot of uh, experience, um, probably financially comfortable too. Or this can represent somebody who is the final decision maker. Like in a courtroom, it would be the judge, a father, a father figure, um, a CEO, you know, that kind of energy. Three of Cups, though. Interesting might be celebrating with this individual. Next we have the Empress. So we have a couple here, the Emperor and the Empress. They are the traditional father and mother of the tarot. And as a couple, uh, people, they usually represent a, a married couple or a long established couple. The Empress is also a card of mothers, maternal figures, fertility, the time is right to plant new seeds. It's also a card of, um, you know, especially with the Four of Swords, it can be a card of the divine feminine and self-care even even some self-indulgence with the knight of wands fast moving offer an opportunity from the bottom of the deck the overall focus and theme is the devil now the devil can be a tricky card because it does it often represents negative attachments to things 
obsessive attachment to things or obsessive energy. Now, it isn't always challenging. It isn't always negative. For example, excessive or uh, obsessive energy in, in the short term can be really positive in terms of entrepreneurial energy, you know, building something, working really hard towards some kind of ultimate goal, and you have to put all of your time and energy into it. But that should have a beginning, a middle, and an end because beyond that is where it becomes unhealthy even toxic and so it represents an addictive or obsessive or unhealthy attachment to something so let's uh i mean for some of you this is going to be nothing more but but i mean which is enough then a, a very basic simple message on you know You've, you've been doing too much you're working too hard you've been doing too much you've been out too much you've been doing too much and something may happen where spirit where it makes you rest you may you know get a cold or get the flu or something like that right uh, to so that you can rest that's a separate message for some of you the devil is the overall energy means that there's something in your life that you're obsessively focused on so let's take a look at that the seven of swords <laughs> that's our card of secrecy concealment or strategy um, I, I finally refer to the Seven of Swords as my sneaky thief card. Now, it can be, you know, negative, like theft, deception. Um, it's a very self-serving card, which isn't necessarily bad. You know, initially, I mean, fundamentally, it's a card of strategy. And strategy is always done behind closed doors. It's being very closed-lipped about... Um, something that you want to to you have a goal something you want to gain acquire maintain uh, but in the doing of that you, you you play your cards very close to your chest because um, otherwise might ruin it right I'm not sure I like this energy together the devil again the four of wands happy home celebration around home and family there is a fair amount of celebration energy here. Also could be, it's a traditional wedding or marriage card as well. The Knight of Cups, an offer of love. I mean, one could read this as marriage for some of you. You might be like either you or someone close to you might be obsessed with, with getting married, obsessed with having like the security or stability of marriage. It might be that you're using maybe some tricks or tactics which aren't all that great. It, it, it feels like there's something you're really obsessively, you're, you're obsessed with. It, some of you it might have something to do with the home and family i mean it could be moving i want a different home i want a different house i want you know there's something that you want really badly you know i mean this is a general reading so the little details and, and story specifics will vary but as i often say the fundamental energy remains the same there's something you're obsessed with you really 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 want it and you're 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 being kind of undercover about how you you're going about getting it or how you want to go about getting it you're being strategic whether or not it's positive or negative in a general reading it might be negative for some of you guys you know like deceit it might be positive for others of you guys um i don't know why i pulled so many cards but i just did i was fascinated by it we have the empress again um there is a sense of i want to be taken care of in this i want to feel good i want to have all the things i want i want to you know be taken care of i want to be you know loved supported you know all of that kind of stuff and again it's not necessarily bad it really depends on you know i often say okay if you're questioning your own motives the thing that you need to focus on is how does any of my actions or planning how does it affect anybody else any other human beings are around me because you can kind of get a moral yardstick by doing that so again whether it's positive or negative i'm not sure that's going to be you know how it resonates with you so but it but it's definitely being secretive or uh, you know strategic about getting something that you really 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 want all right wheel of fortune four of swords
the nine of cups, the fool, and the three of pentacles. Nine of cups is getting what you want. Your cups overflowing with abundance, wish fulfillment. And you know, there's, there's kind of an energy here in whatever this thing is that you want really badly. It has a sense of, it makes me feel really good. It's pleasurable. It's, and again, that could be anything from, you know, being in a, you know, wanting to be in the type of relationship where you're, you're kind of the focal theme. You're, you know, again, it's not necessarily a bad thing wanting to be seen as the empress, wanting to be loved and cared for and taken care of like the empress. Um, there's a sense of kind of physical abundance here as well. I mean, it could be like moving to a new home or wanting, you know, some great gift or something like that. Three of Pentacles and the Fool. The Fool is a brand new journey, a brand new chapter of life starting out. It's a new adventure. It's um, being open, being physically, mentally, emotionally open to new adventures, which means stepping outside your comfort zone. And the Three of Pentacles is a, is, is a card of partnership, teamwork, or collaboration. Sometimes it can represent third-party situations, which could be rather sticky if that's what this is. However, it's it's all clarifying the wheel of fortune so whatever this new opportunity is there is divine timing and orchestration behind it i mean the three of pentacles is collaborating together so it might be a new project it might be renovation it might be um a new business you know four of swords judgment a potentially life-changing decision or choices in front of you and the hanging man but not taking any specific decisive action just yet which kind of kind of goes along with the temporary step back of the four of swords so it feels like you're taking some time to consider things to perhaps make up your mind or again i'm getting this whole kind of strategy planning war room kind of energy here which is really interesting it may be you're trying to figure out what the best way is to present it to someone which is probably the emperor here so let's take a look at that three of cups it's like a plan where it's like we have this great idea and we want to do this thing and you want to present it to this other person that needs to support it in some way like and you're trying to figure out the best way to present it that's kind of what i'm getting for some of you it might have to do with the upcoming holiday it might have to do with resonance for some of you i mean it could be secretly planning marriage or that kind of thing too and then springing it on people i mean yeah here the thing is even though we have the devil twice with that seven of swords i'm actually at least for the majority of you not getting any feeling because i do channel quite strongly the energies of cards and spreads i'm not getting the 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 i'm not getting like a negative or deceitful energy in that it's a deceitful in a negative way meaning like if you're planning a surprise party there's nothing wrong with that even though technically you're being deceitful i'm not really picking up um that energy negative energy so three of cups the emperor it's fascinating reading the wheel of fortune so whatever this social friends people getting together the community party energy again it's divine timing and orchestration ace of cups the heart beginning to open up again the beginning of a path of emotional fulfillment it might be new love and romance for some of you you might be like i just met my soulmate this is the person i'm going to marry i don't know there's like all these different stories going on here the emperor you know it's interesting but i feel like for some reason this emperor seven of wands four of pentacles five of cups a bit stingy a bit defensive maybe looking at stuff in the past maybe the, i feel for some of you for some reason that this emperor individual you, you need you want his acceptance approval support of this thing it could be a father father figure or a, one of those partners husbands you know or something that's like you know always kind of you know suspicious of anything new because this is like uh, you know maybe i've had bad experiences with this in the past so i don't want to do it again i i don't there's kind of a, a very grudging almost stingy aspect to this emperor and for some reason i feel like you're trying to get this emperor on board 
again it could be moving moving relocating renovating the house something like that having everybody over hosting people for you know some kind of party or something empress and the knight of wands it's like this emperor is going no it's going to cost too much there's going to be a whole bunch of headache and trouble and you know empress and the knight of wands five of wands conflict arguing kind of going around and around in circles about the same thing I, I think it's it's this couple I think it's you and this person actually knight of wands and what's the arguing about the knight of wands doing the thing the speed at which you want to do the thing it feels like perhaps some of you are being told this is too soon this is too spontaneous this is too impulsive this is too foolish this is not going to work it's kind of the whole reading kind of has this theme of one person really wanting something really really badly and trying to get a, a necessary person involved and supportive of it and really kind of running into some issues knight of pentacles so we have two knights here which is what the conflict is about one is the fastest and one is the slowest and steadiest and most cautious and it, it feels here like while the emperor may be having this or this other person may be having this sort of grudging energy it, it, it's difficult to kind of get on the same page and it may be that the speed at which it's moving one person wants to do it right now and the other person is like no let's be careful let's be cautious let's take our time let's you know do this thing so uh, that's kind of the gist of this whole reading it, it, it's strange because it almost feels like i've had a window into like somebody's living room where they <laughs> you know some disagreement or something somebody needed to hear it though and underneath the whole thing is this energy of being strategic about it sort of like manipulating or maneuvering things into place to present it in the best way possible so that you can get what you want at the end of it all right advice guidance feedback from spirit it's almost kind of funny there's a comical side to this okay we have the queen of wands leo aries sag which is you we have death and the six of cups so we have this major change and transformation card which could represent an ending of one thing and something new it's change and transformation of something which has history again for those of you who are trying to do like a home renovation it's it's a it's a pretty good sign for it although again i think you have to buck against somebody who's not quite on board this is transformation of an old situation it might be which means an ending of an old situation or some kind of major transformation ten of pentacles on the hierophant towards long-term security and stability that's the path that spirit supports the most the path that that after the change brings this long-term stability and security that tried and true i'm not worried about tomorrow next week next month next year it feels like it's this new path this new partnership this new this new thing that people are coming together on and trying to drag the emperor along to um it feels like i mean you know it's all driven by the wheel of fortune so uh, again but the challenge is going to be kind of maneuvering this other person to kind of be a part of it so all right i'm going to leave it there leo those are your messages for the last half of november 2023 i hope you found them relevant and useful if you did if it resonated with you and you'd like to take a deeper look at something or you simply like the reading style if you would like a personal reading with me for yourself or as a gift for someone else uh, please feel free to email me at maggie the number one mcguire at gmail.com you can get that contact info by clicking the description link uh, clicking the the title or the description of this video i would be delighted to hear from you and to work with you i will see you all in a couple of weeks for the december general general readings again those of you who will be celebrating it happy thanksgiving and i hope to see you back here again quite soon Bye bye